Okay, so I was browsing through the Raspberry Pi 4 Facebook group and uh, I found something really interesting out. Uh, and it's which post is it? It's this post. Can I boot my Raspberry Pi 4 with USB drive? Please help me. So I thought I'd have a look and see what people had answered with uh, and one had suggested Google. Uh, and if I scroll down, you can see my video there because Berry Boot is an option. But uh, then got a really interesting one here. Uh, so in three to four days, we will have native USB boot, the beta one at least. Uh, and then uh, underneath, it's got uh, a link. So just follow here to know when to update EEPROM. And there's a link on GitHub. And you can see if you scroll down to it, uh, Raspberry Pi 4 bootloader EEPROM release notes. USB mass storage boot will not work without the updated firmware start.elf binaries. These will probably be released via RPI dash update in a few days time. This release simply helps to validate if there are regressions in the current SD and network boot modes. Self update and bootloader update are now enabled by default. So this will be interesting. Um, I'll if, if anybody comes across it before I do, if you can let me know how you do it or send me any links, but uh, I will definitely be trying that out. I've just ordered another one of these uh, cheap drives. It, this one, because it doesn't need to be that big, is only a 60 gig drive. I've got two other 120 gig SSDs, but one of them's got Windows 10 on it and the other one's got Berry Boot. So I'll be using this with my Caddy and hopefully getting SSD boot on every image that would normally be written to an SD card. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.